Okay, today we're going to look at oil coolers. We're going to start off with the budget oil cooler, which is this one. Okay, it's a generic budget oil cooler, 13 row, with a half inch BSP fitting on here. We either sell it as the cooler itself or with the braided steel pipes. These are just a generic stainless steel braided pipe, screw on fittings, and this screws straight into the block or this one will screw straight into the standard filter head. Now these are top drawer Swedish oil coolers and on the race car we found we tried one against the other and the oil in this one ran 10 degrees cooler than it did with this one. So if it's a race car don't really bother with this one. I know they're more expensive but they do keep your oil a lot cooler and they run with better quality hoses and fittings. So this one will run with Dash 8 fittings. It runs with these pipes which are a braided nylon hose, classic look. And then they come with these cutter fitting that cuts actually into the pipe to hold it on. These are the little adapters to go into the block. There's an 1116 UNF one with a doughty washer on for the SPI block or there's a 5.8 UNF block size for the A plus and A series. There's no absolute definitive answer as to whether you will need an oil cooler or not. Normally rule of thumb is road cars mildly tuned shouldn't really need an oil cooler. Sprint hill climb cars because they're only doing short runs not really a hundred percent necessity. A circuit car, most of the time, will need an oil cooler. Purely and simply because the hotter your oil gets, the thinner it gets, the less lubrication it's producing. Because it's so thin, it gets to like water. If you don't want to run an oil cooler, we can then go down this route. And what we've got here are two different filter heads, both billet ones. And you'll see we've done quite a few improvements on them. We've put a brace across here just to stop it flexing. But the main mod is the rear face. The rear face is a lot bigger and the gasket line is a lot bigger. And also there is a gasket actually that we produce that's the right size for it. So you've got an awful lot more contact area so the gasket doesn't blow as it does on the standard filter. Also you'll notice we've took out the release valve which can be can cause trouble so a lot a lot better this one again like I say you can actually take that out and you could if you wanted to buy the filter head on its own and use the standard stock steel pipe but most people buy the filter head with the fitting and the braided steel pipe uh, one thing to note on these, we do supply them with stainless steel Allen cap screw bolts for mounting. Uh, one on the your right hand side, my left, fits in nice and easy. But to get the one on the right hand side in, really you should be taking the adapter out, putting the screw in and then tightening it up with a ball end Allen key and then fitting the pipe and the adapter afterwards. This is the hose, dash six fittings both ends into an alloy fitting into the filter head, alloy fitting into the block, and then the pipe, pipe joins the two. If you're running a race engine, we tend to fit this one if it's not going to be running with an oil cooler. So now you've gone from the dash six up to the dash eight with the braided pipe, but the filter head is now black so we can differentiate between the two. Has a dash eight fitting, you can see a lot, lot bigger fitting, bigger hole, and again, the pipe is a bigger fitting. So dash eight onto the dash eight, and then you use one of these fittings into the block, like so. Okay, we'll just run a quick summary then on the kits. Oil cooler kit, budget oil cooler, braided pipes, this is the Cetrab top drawer race quality with the braided pipes, proper dash eight fittings, will make the oil 
run cooler than that one. Or if you don't want to run a cooler, we've got both filter heads with either the black braided hose for the black filter head or the silver braided hose for the silver filter head. There you go. So you've got options all the way through oil coolers and filter heads.